Hi there guys, it's Rick Graham here and this is my brand new signature Charvel. It's a corker, it really is. Really, really pleased with the way this came together. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey working with the guys at Charvel and the way that it's turned out is, is absolutely fantastic. I couldn't be happier with the result. Not only is it aesthetically beautiful, but tonally it's just fantastic. And you're gonna to get to hear that because uh, I'm gonna play some tunes for you. From the moment that I first picked up the guitar, I knew it was the, just the right instrument because I've experimented with different in instruments in the past. When I was young, I played violin, I experimented with uh, keyboards and drums, and then at 17, finally settled on the guitar. And I don't know, it's the uniqueness of the instrument because of the nuances of being able to bend strings and do things that basically a piano can't. <laughs> For me, YouTube has been absolutely fantastic because um, I'm one of the original YouTube guys right from the, when YouTube started back in 2005. I love the fact that I can sit and you know, teach people how to play and give them ideas. It, it's enabled me to, um, to create opportunities for myself and uh, you know anybody can do it. If you've got the ability and just a camera, you can just sit and, and create something and you can actually, you know, reach into people's lives and it can change not only your life, but other people's. Back in 2019, I hooked up with a good friend of mine, Angel Vivaldi. While I was staying with him and we were doing some jamming, he was showing me the guitars and I was just blown away with the quality. And from then, Angel put me in touch with Charvel and wanted to send me some a couple of guitars just to try out. So I was just thinking, that's, that's wonderful, but then how about having your own signature, and I was like, that is pretty amazing. I had to kind of go back through the years and remind myself of some of the, some of the elements of uh, the construction of a guitar that, that are important to me. I was just like, Rick, just be honest with yourself and just um, pick the stuff that you've, you've gravitated towards over the years and this is a product of that. The guitar is constructed of bass wood, which is one of my favorite woods, and uh, it's relatively light as well, um, which is very, very important uh, when playing live. We have a caramelized maple neck, so maple fretboard, and it's beautiful. It really is um, beautiful to look at, beautiful to play. Stability on this thing is second to none. As well, it's got the looming lay, which is a great idea. So if you're on stage playing live, um, you know where you're going. While I'm talking about the fretboard, it's a 12 to 16 compound radius, which is ideal for me because I do a lot of chordal work uh, lower down on the fretboard, and it progresses as you get hi uh, higher up on the fretboard, so that's when you can kick into all your, all your technical shred-type playing, so it's perfect for that. This guitar comes with a, a heel-mounted truss rod, which gives you instant access. It comes with jumbo stainless steel frets. We've got uh, the headstock with the Goto locking tuners. And of course, we got the Made in Japan stamp on the back. Another element that I really love about this guitar are the pickups. Um, Tim from Bare Knuckle, who I've worked with over the years, uh, makes exceptionally good pickups. As soon as I knew that I was going to put a signature guitar together, I thought that, that would be the ideal pairing, especially suited to my style of playing when I do a lot of chordal stuff, chord melody stuff, but also obviously distorted shred stuff. There. They're wonderfully versatile. Um, the bridge pickup is just great. The neck pickup, which I tend to use an awful lot, uh, especially at um, high gain levels, has this wonderful chirpiness to it when, when you're picking, doing pick lines. And I, I, I'm really addicted to that sound. So turning the guitar over, um, this is a fantastic addition as well, which is a, the shredder's heel, which just makes it, almost makes it like it's, there's nothing there. What I would really like for people to experience is when they walk into a guitar store, see my signature guitar hanging up on the wall, I want them to feel as inspired as I do when I play the instrument. Um, just a four. Just a four, come on, two, three, four. I also opted not to have my signature on this 
because it's wonderful that fans of my playing and videos and everything else would support me by buying it, uh, but I, I do want it to appeal to as many people as possible, so that's why I opted for, for no signature. Uh, I like to keep things as simple as possible. This guitar has all of the things that I, I really need in terms of you know, being a um, peak performance and uh, both performing wise but also uh, as a, a writer and a composer, you know, those kind of things um, that this guitar brings to me allows me to just really, really flow in, in all of those areas and just retain a sense of musicality and, and to be inspired, I think that's, that's essential. You've got to be inspired by the instrument you play. It's, in a word, sick. I do have to remind myself that this has happened because most guitarists aspire to, to have a signature gu guitar at some point in their lives. So for me, it's just, I'm so proud of it. Especially when you put your heart and soul into something for many, many years and a company like Charvel actually see that and recognize that. <laughs>